Welcome back friends. So today we've got a new, exciting, colourful edition to the world of grey tech and it really does match the vibrant yellow of this tea towel. So this is the new Gomi Speaker Collection 1 and this is how it comes in the box. So let's open up. Comes apart just like an iPhone box. It really makes you wait for it. <laughs> there we go. So we've got Gomi speaker one of one. Now on the inside, we get a little card. And let's have a look. And that's oh that's very nice. And we've also got edition 0929. And wow, there we have it. That is something beautiful. So, oh, first feel of the speaker, it feels very tough. Oh. Then you just turned it on there. So this is the power button. And we've got the LED indicator. So this is half battery. Then we've got the USB type C port for charging, aux in and the Bluetooth and also TWS pairing button. Up here, we've got the volume down and volume up buttons. I believe if you hold it down as well, it will also skip to the next song. Last two things in the box, we've got the user manual. So this just goes through, there you go, what's in the box. Speaker placement, water resistance, speaker controls, pairing. Bluetooth connections, aux, battery, care and maintenance, troubleshooting, and important safety information. So that's nice that it's all in one place here. And lastly, the big thing for Gomi is that every speaker that they make is going to be repairable or upgradable in the future. So you can see here we've got the six backplate screws that hold it together. Now, these can be removed, so you can either replace the battery or in the future, upgrade the, uh, the PCB that they've got inside. Now, the size of this thing, it feels, it's like, I reckon it's a standard size. It's nothing, it's not super small, like those pocket sized speakers that we get now. But just compare, this is the UE Mega Boom. You can see that the Mega Boom is a little bit taller. And a very similar end profile as well. So if we look at the overall dimensions here. So lengthwise, we've got about 20 centimeters. Width is about nine and a half. And depth around seven centimeters. As for weight, get out the trusty scales. So we're looking right at just over one kilogram for the Gomi speaker for the collection one. And then just to compare that to the UE Boom, we are at 950 grams. So these two are about the same in weight and size. So to power up the device, you just give the button a tap. And then bring your phone over and wait for the speaker sh to show up. There we go. Now, connect the speaker and you're ready to play. And also, because of the aux, we can also play with other devices as well. In my van, I've got a small projector and this works really well. Using the lead that comes in the box, I've got a 20 watt Apple charger here. And we're just going to plug that into the mains 
and connect the speaker. Now the flashing light means that it's charging. Nowadays, though, with everything going type C, we've also got laptop chargers that can be used with the speaker. So as you can see there, you've got the three test results, perhaps a little bit primitive, a way of testing, but all three speakers are very, very loud. So to summarize, it's got full clean sound. I'd say that it's as loud as the uh, Mega Boom or A1 from Bang & Olufsen. The battery life is good, and I do like the upgradability of the design as well. Made in the UK, something that is unique and really unheard of in this age of tech. If you get your hands on one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.